Welcome back to the Sizzle Chest Inn. We're going to be doing this again. Ghost of Tsushima. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but I'm guessing that's how you say it. Tsushima. Or Tsushima. Tsushima! Something like that. Anyways. So we go ahead and continue on with this beautiful game. Good grief. I love the lighting. I love the colors. This is an amazing game. I love it. It's not like, oh my god, this is the best game I've ever seen. Don't get it twisted. This is a very, 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 very good looking game. What up, Grandma? Where am I going? I'm coming this way by myself. There goes the whole set. We're here to represent. What's going on, y'all? Hey. Cheetos and Fritos. Tycora, what's up? How you doing? Everyone's here to pay their respects to father passing or getting killed. I'm just gonna walk past you, man. Where my uncle at? See him right here? Uncle Tyrone. What's up, brother? I'm just kidding. The reason why I talk like that is because I grew up around people who talk like that. Even my mom, she talks like that sometimes too, even to this day. Um, it's not something that I'm imitating or, you know, I'm just being disrespectful. I actually talk like that, so I try to, I mean, as I got older and I wasn't around, uh, you know, that lingo, I kind of don't use it as much. I just use it sometimes. Um, so it's not like it was... It's part of who I am, but, you know, I, I don't know how to explain it. I'm not trying to say that I'm getting rid of that part. It's just, I don't talk like that as much anymore. He is always with you. I mean, when I'm around my family members, I do, but when I'm by myself, nah, not really. This is normally how I talk. But I'm not like, totally right, dude, you know? Like, let's go out and have some nice surf sesh. Give me some the nosh on you know tomorrow i'll get down like that you will come to my fortress not a weirdo like that but I, mean, I do skateboard sometimes i know i'm chubby but I'm losing weight <laughs> i'm not gonna crush my skateboard the, the thing that sucks is i bought my skateboard just as coronavirus was getting like because i hadn't skated in forever and i was like all right i want to get back into it because i watched this video of this 60 year old dude who got into skateboarding um and he learned and he's freaking amazing so honestly i i'm, I'm gonna be playing tony hawk pro skater so i'm gonna retell this story anyway so it's whatever anywho this game awesome like i really do love what they do with the lighting i do like the controls i'm a little bit sluggish with i am i mean they're they're responsive for the most part but i can i know i can do better once i i get the groove and the feel for the game um yes there's no j tonight or today whatever uh it's he was having some connection issues we're gonna troubleshoot that you know uh sometime soon so he wasn't able to to jump on here and commentate with me uh, which is kind of sad because, you know, I had to do the whole Resident Evil 3 walkthrough by myself, so. Which I hope wasn't too lame for you guys. But anyways, if anybody even watches it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, dude, I'm just really excited. Like, look at the detail they put on this grass. I don't know if anybody really understands what they had to go through to to make this look as awesome as they did. Like, there's a lot of detail that they put on this dude. And on the environment, like, look at this lighting. I've never been to Nippon, but if it looks anything like this, like, I really wanna go there bad wow can 
gonna kill those animals? I wonder. I wonder if it gets a bow or anything in this game. I, I really don't know too much about this game. Um, I was, I really didn't know about it until, like I had heard about it, but I didn't really look, look too much into it, like really acknowledge it until about a week before it was released. And then I was just kind of like, oh, dude, that game was pretty cool. I'll probably play it. But I usually say that, say that about a lot of games and I ended up not playing them. So I just assumed that this was gonna be one of those games, but um, like a week or two after it came out, I picked it up and here I am just playing it with you guys now. And I figured, you know, I, I play video games on my off time anyways. Uh, when I do have a little bit of downtime, like why not? stream it why not have fun with it and share you know what I, I am passionate about with the rest of you guys because I'm like really really passionate about games we've been playing games for a really really long time so you know here, here we are and I hope that you're passionate about playing games as well so if you came here to see some gameplay or you know like secrets or uh, like a walkthrough or anything like that I'm probably in the same boat as you are and I'm going to be fumbling and stumbling through this game like uh, you know like Bambi you know he first was first born so <laughs> uh, yeah we're just gonna go on this adventure together and crack a few jokes make it entertaining for you you know I know some people they they like to put on a podcast or put on like you know these game videos and just listen to it in the background I do it my wife does it you know uh, I have a friend who does it you know pretty frequently uh, it's you know it's it's, it's it's cool man it's whatever I know you don't have to be like looking at the game so I'm trying to make that as entertaining for you as possible because I do appreciate you guys stopping by uh, to take a look here I don't really know too much about the Mongol culture other than they tried to fight against China or take over China or whatever way back when which I like Mulan and I enjoyed the cartoon and I didn't really I, I didn't like the movie being called Mulan because it did not have a Mulan feel to me at all um, but I didn't mind the movie it was actually pretty decent I, I I love kung fu flicks. I love you know samurai movies, ninjas, all that stuff. Like um, like I used to watch those old '80s movies, American Ninja one, two, three, four. I think there's five. Um, I've only seen up to part four. Uh, let's see, I own um, Akira Kurosawa's uh, Seven Samurai. You know the old black and white movie. Um, I love. End of the Dragon, Bruce Lee movie. Uh, I tend to watch a lot of, you know, Kung Fu martial arts movies and stuff, you know. Game of Death is another Bruce Lee movie that I watch a lot. Um, yeah, I, I watch that. Those, anime, a lot of anime. Um, uh, the newest anime that I've watched was... My Hero Academia, probably the newest one. I also watch Demon Slayer, um, Naruto, Naruto. Those are just some of the early, the newer ones. Naruto is not really newer. Uh, I was actually watching Naruto. Um, I had to download like every episode off of a torrent site um, way back before it was even released here in America. I remember watching it and I was like, dude, this is going to be the next Dragon Ball Z like out here in America. There's going to be just so much like merchandise over this way for it. It's going to get huge. And it did. Dude. This is such a cool scene. Like, it's such a cool scene with the colors, the wind, the music, just all of that is really neat. I like that. This is really cool. And I like how the 
the wind is your guide. That is really cool. Like, you know how they always have, like, waypoint, you know, like, Grand Theft Auto, you're playing Grand Theft Auto, and it's like, alright, go that way, or whatever, you have the little thing, or on your, um, uh, you know, your little HUD, your map, it you know, has, like, your little icon, like, alright, you're gonna go over this way, so. It's a pretty neat feature that they have in this game of, you know, the wind is gonna guide you, that, that's, that's really cool. Legend grows, you will learn powerful new techniques. Okay, so. I mean, like, I get experience points or something? See, like, again, I don't really know too much about this game. I know it sounds weird, but I am one of those types of people who like to enjoy the adventure, you know? don't need to look up like a, all the facts about you know a movie or a game or a book before it comes out like I just don't understand why people want to do that to the you know? um, that didn't that never made sense to me like why would you want to spoil like, the books or the movies or the music or whatever like I don't mind getting samples of like you know uh, music that's pretty neat. Uh, like Deftones, they just, you know, released um, that Ohms track and Genesis. I don't know if you know who the Deftones are, but I do listen to a lot of um, metal music, alternative, you know, uh, rock and roll. That's what you want to call it, rock music. Uh, I say rock and roll because I listen to a lot of, like, classic rock. You know, Aerosmith, Jimi Hendrix, you know, stuff like that. So, um... You know, I, 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 don't, I just kind of, I'm into a lot of, a lot of everything, you know. I, I don't want to say a little bit of everything, because I do kind of get into, uh, you know, I do spend a lot of time in many different things. So. Like, I like skateboarding, I like martial arts, I like uh, you know, video games, I love comic books, I love to read books, you know. I like to watch some shows. As I just said, I like anime and martial arts movies and stuff. John Wick's movies were, were awesome. Um, I'm not like saying his name is John Wick's. I'm just saying I like the uh, John Wick's movies. Uh, as far as TV shows go, I don't really watch t too many new ones. Uh, like The newest one I watched was that Hulu show, Woke. Um, it's pretty good. I didn't really want to... I watched the first episode and I was kind of, you know, iffy about it. And then I ended up reading an article uh, about the show and how it's actually based on a, on a, was it Keith Knight? Um, it's based off of like a real dude who went through some, you know, very similar experiences. But it's not like, like a straight up, like a autobiographical thing it's kind of like loosely based on his life you know it's, uh, which I think is pretty cool um, I like how I like how the show is going so far and I'm just hoping it doesn't progress into something that's too extreme one way or the other you know what I'm saying like I hope it's just not like too extreme like you know like racist you know it, it is racist and it's pointing out a lot of racism um, that it's always been there, but it hasn't really been brought to people's attention um, until, like, recently, you know? Like, for whatever pre reason, people got woke, you know? Let's see. Actually, I believe I did talk about this in uh, Resident Evil 3, my Inferno walkthrough. So, that's... That's what, uh, you know, I do here on this channel. Like, we, we just talk about anything and, and, and nothing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I do like a lot of different things. Um, I like comedy movies a lot. And, you know, this is, this is me chatting with you, you know, getting to know who I am as a, as a person, not just as like, oh, he, he's, a, he's a dude, he's on YouTube, I don't really know nothing about him, you know being as uh, 
being as open as I can be, you know. I'm not gonna give away like every detail of my life, but you know, those are just some things I'm into to help you, you know, get a better feel for, you know, if, if you were to meet me out on the street, like what would we talk about other than like, you know, that he's he does a YouTube channel or plays video games on the internet. So, I guess it just depends on what I'd be doing when you saw me. Like if I'm getting food, obviously we can talk about food. <laughs> If you see me skating, obviously we can talk about skating or whatever else. We need to reach Taka without putting him in danger. We'll find a safe approach. Okay. That's pretty neat. System backup available. Okay, so we can scare the rocks on that side. If they're loose, they might give way. Guards. So this reminds me of Mad Max. Like, you know, when you go to scavenge the, Could be a way in. you know, the, the bases before you, you go over there and take them on. Or gap in the front wall. That was a fun game, too. And I accidentally beat that game. That's where they stand. Um, I say accidentally because I was the prisoners. I've seen them trying to, have to go do everything, like get every collectible and everything, and I ended up going into like, the final boss battle thing without even realizing it because I was trying to get uh, find another artifact or whatever that was you know in the like the underground underneath like the last you know uh, area of the game and I accidentally beat it <laughs> before I could get all the stuff but I, I guess it didn't matter because more stuff unlocked after you beat the game so um, I didn't get a get to platinum that one, um, even though I do like to, to save my family. platinum some games. I think I have like What's left of your... eight platinum trophy. I can't remember. Four, eight. I don't know. That's got cost I know that's a huge difference, but I don't think it's four. And I don't think it's eight. Could be wrong. Why should be like twenty-three or something? <laughs> I don't think it's that many, but. And for those of you that ain't PlayStation literate. A platinum trophy is when you 100% get all the achievements. Even before PlayStation gives you tro calls them trophies, not achievements. He hates it That's the difference. But it was that. Another difference between PlayStation and Xbox is the exclusives. I prefer the exclusives on, that are on PlayStation. Um, I was going to get an Xbox, I would get whatever the popular game that everyone's playing, like Call of Duty. Because um, to me, Xbox is more of a casual game system because of how user-friendly the interface is and how like, um, customizable everything really is you know, in that user interface. So to me, that's like, when you're able to like soup it up like a hot rod type thing, to me that's um, if they see us. more of like a, a casual thing because you're gonna spend more time customizing your interface than you are playing the games. You know what I'm saying that's just speculation here on my end. I'm not saying that that's exactly what it is. I'm just giving you a reason why my brain is thinking this. You know, this is what it is. So. Oh, what an idiot. Anywho, uh, to this busy talk, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, anywho, so the ex uh, exclusive games for Xbox um, haven't impressed me in a long time. I did play uh, Gears 5 and I was disappointed. It was a rough looking game. And the controls uh, just didn't handle well enough for me, you know? It's a very, very clunky game. I don't remember what game I was playing around that same time on PlayStation, but I'm pretty sure it was like similar. Like maybe I was playing a first person shooter or something. I, I don't know, so. <laughs> For 
For sure, though, it's one system isn't better than the other. It's all preference. I can't tell you that you're wrong if you prefer one thing over the other or prove to you that it sucks if you enjoy, you know, using it or playing, you know, that, that system or whatever it is. You know, if I tell you that burritos are garbage and they're, they're gross, I mean, maybe my taste buds just don't like burritos, so... Um, there really shouldn't be a fight or a divide over the consoles, you know what I'm saying? That's ridiculous. There really shouldn't be a fight or divide over anything, really. Like, you, so what? You drink Coca-Cola and I drink Pepsi. I don't drink either one, you know, because I don't drink soda anymore. That doesn't mean that I'm better than whoever because I don't drink soda. And that doesn't mean that uh, you're dumb for drinking Pope, Pepsi, or Coke. This, there should be no divide on, you know, whether one is better than the other. So, I mean, Coca-Cola is cool because you can clean a battery, you know, with, <laughs> with it. Actually, you can clean a lot of things with Coca-Cola, which is bad. You can clean oil off of your driveway uh, with Coca-Cola. Uh, I don't know if you'd want to put that in your body. You know what I'm saying? Like, you wouldn't drink, uh, like, Dawn dish soap on purpose, would you? Or you wouldn't drink freaking CLR no you wouldn't um, but you're putting coca-cola in your body I mean it can't be good for you if it can clean off battery terminals and on a car or clean oil off your driveway I don't nah I would not want to put that in my body of course there is also this weird theory that Pepsi uses like stem cells or something in their formula so I wouldn't want to you know, be drinking human parts, you know, human DNA. <laughs> so. Anyway, getting back to the samurai game. He's got a cute little scar there. His face. I always thought when I was younger that that'd be cool to have like this big ass like gash, like, scar, on like down your eye. I was like, man, I look so tight if I look like Scar from the uh, Lion King or Sub Zero from Mortal Kombat 3. I was like, what? Ooh. He just went on and did it, huh? Zero hesitation. He was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and get this done real quick. You heard my. Aunt. So, one thing I want to, like, tell you guys, though, is if you've ever done martial arts or you've ever been in a fight and lost, and got your ass handed to you, there really is no better feeling, you know, than when you come out. If you come out of it, obviously, like, not seriously injured or anything, it's a very humbling experience to get your ass handed to you. Um, and I don't mean that just, like, you know, your, your parent you know, spanked you and whooped your ass and put that, like, fear of, you know, your parent or the fear of, like, okay, I shouldn't be messing up anymore. It's uh, just an entirely different feeling. Like, it's very humbling, though, to, um, to, like, roll with somebody who's, like, outside of your skill level who can just mop the floor up with you, you know? If you're a white belt and you go in there and you roll with uh, black belts, um, I say... You know, I'm using jujitsu in, in this uh, example because that's the one I used to do uh, 12, 13 years ago. And I kind of got back into it about a year ago, and then I got too busy to do it. And I'm still too busy to do it. Like, like, this is about the most fun I'm able to have like in video games because of all the different things that I do. You know, I'm a, I'm a student full-time any of you guys who you know, uh, go 
to school full time, part time, and work a full time job. It's rough, man. Like you have no social life. Most of my friends, they still go out, and drink, and you know, do that kind of thing. And I'm not. But actually, I, I quit uh, drinking alcohol uh, back in March of 2020. So. It, was really just because I didn't like the way it made me feel. Um, next day, like I didn't mind, you know, the taste of the beers, the alcohol. I didn't mind the, uh, you know, getting being drunk, but I didn't like the way it made me feel the next day. Yeah, you know, I know nobody does, but I was just like, you know what? No, because it wasn't you like always the last, like, the next day that I was feeling bad. It was a couple days afterwards. Even my body was still recovering. Um, and I really wasn't a heavy drinker. It just my body and alcohol just didn't really mix too well. So I was like, you know what? I don't need to be doing it. So I quit doing it. Lord Raiden, wake up. We need to go. Oh, he did. Dang it. Thank you, Raiden. Good. No. Now Earth Realm is doomed. That was teasing. Not all Japanese people look the same. They really don't. I'm not being a sarcastic dick. You can really say that about everybody. Like, if you really pay attention to people, um, really, I mean, they can look similar, but they don't look the same. How I know is I hang out with many different people, many different walks of life. Yeah! Oh no! I like how I did that. Ugh. Mongol artifacts. What kind of artifacts we got here? We're talking. Ah, rule. I wonder how you say that. I'll have to Google that later. Uh, rules a staple of the Mongols, a nomadic diet. Made of curds boiled in fresh milk, the resulting mixture is combined with sugar and fruits before being dried and sliced into varied shapes and patterns. Like jello, but cheesy. Like cheesy jello. Cool. Such a Okay. Alright, got some cool stuff here. Got some gear. Hey, where's my stuff at for pre ordering the game? Just kidding, I didn't pre-order it, or buy the Deluxe Edition. Uh, like I said, I didn't really know much about this game, and when I bought it, I did not think to, you know, purchase anything other than what the normal version, the standard version was. Um, not regretting it, but I mean, it could have been I could have probably done it. Like for Final Fantasy VII Remake, which I will be doing some gameplay on that. Um, I bought the deluxe edition. Like, dude, I was waiting so patiently for that game to come out. I was trying not to do what everybody else does and, like, okay, when's it coming out? Like, I was like, okay, they told me it's coming out this day. I have my pre order. I'm just gonna wait. So I set timers and alarms and everything. I took the day off work, everything. I was prepared. Um, and I actually took a whole week off work. I disappeared for a month uh, from all my other friends. Uh, I was playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare a lot. Like I had a heavy online presence on that game. And once Final Fantasy VII Remake came out, I disappeared and everyone was like, dude, where have you been? And I was like, I told you where I was going to be. I told you. I took pictures and everything and let everybody know, like, this is what I did. This is where I'm at. You know, this is what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, I jumped down there. I might die. You know what? Hello. Let's get to the roof. Let's get to the <laughs> awesome. That's one way to get over the wall, huh? Are you with the Straw Hat Ronin? 
I was. Cut ties with them after they started running low on rations. So I need to make sure that I 100% complete Resident Evil 7. Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Uh, and Resident Evil 7. Biohazard? I know it's an older game, but... Bro, you can't sleep on the old games. Like, yes, I, I know that, like, oh, no, nobody's played those games anymore, so... That doesn't mean I don't need... I, I need to be not playing those games. Like, uh... On the Switch, they got Super Mario 3D All-Stars. So they got Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and... Mario Galaxy, I believe it is. Yes, the Mario Galaxy. Um, they re-released that on the Switch. Those are older games. And people are snatching that bad boy up and playing the heck out of it. Mainly old heads are like, Dude, Mario 64! Like, me right there, yeah. I was in 6th grade when Mario 64 was released. So that's how, like, that's showing just how old I am. I always get told that I look a lot younger than, like, about 10 years younger than I really am, so. Uh, that's good, I guess. I do plan on buying that <laughs> Mario All-Star 60, uh, All-Star game. 3D All-Star, that's what it is. I do have a Nintendo Switch, and yes, I'm going to be playing, for sure, Astral Chain uh, pretty soon. That's what I'm going to be streaming. Um, I'll probably get going on that and get that released on Monday for RPG Monday. And then I'm also going to do Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, most RPGs nowadays are not exciting to me. Not because they, the games just aren't innovative or um, creative enough or anything like that. It's just... Time-wise, again, like I said, um, I don't even have time to be doing this right now, but I figured uh, I might as well. It's because I, I, I just wanted to have some fun, so here I am. Taking about an hour or so out of my time to have fun with the world, basically. Anybody who wants to sit, listen to me talk, and, you know, like comment man like i do not you know uh, i don't know i, I don't want to say neglect but uh, i condone comments you know chit chat with me on saturdays that's when i start doing live stream i do have you know, in the description for my channel that on saturdays are going to be the live live chat uh, or live chat live stream days so as of right now those are going to be postponed uh, because i do have a lot of, of things that i have to, to do uh, before i can make that happen They're not slaves. Yay! Point of no return. Got a trophy. Ooh, uh. Oh, I guess you do kind of level up, huh? Oh, yeah, that's right. RPG with... Oh, sorry. Action game with RPG elements. Kind of like Devil May Cry. God of War. Uh, what is that I can think of? <laughs> What? Hmm. Earns a moderate amount of resolve. I run right before taking damage. With uh, the square triangle. Uh, uh, let's do roll. 
Town. Right, got that role. Why? Because if during a boss fight like that big dude right there that is showing, that's gonna come in handy to be able to get on the other side of this guy. Satchel. leaders to unlock, okay. Didn't learn that, not enough tech points. Okay. That's pretty cool, though. Ghosts! What's this? Okay, stand up. So, I get tech points. Okay, so... I gain tech points by leveling up, and I gotta be careful what I level up, I guess. Or maybe I can level max him out completely or something, I don't know. Okay, so charm slot charms, grant perks. Earn them by honoring Shinto shrines and by completing tales of Chuchima. Um, I wonder if, like, you go to the shrine and you gotta fight a ghost. Not being facetious, I'm just curious. doesn't say whether or not one is harder than the other. So, major legend increase, major legend increase. All right, I'm going to do this because archery and half bow. Yep. Can't do it. Can't do it. All right, hosty. Do this. Now, one thing I did notice that I like is how responsive this horse is. It's not like Red Dead Redemption at all. Red Dead Redemption, it was not very the responsive game at all, but that's just Rockstar Games. As far as like controls go, those games are not responsive. You don't get these hairpin turns. Like in Red Dead Redemption, me uh, oh snaps oh snap there's a bear or something there's a bear right oh snaps mauled to death I should not have messed with that go away bear Never know till you try, right? Anywho, Red Dead Redemption. Uh, yeah, but uh, the, the trees were close together like this. I'm hitting everything in Red Dead Redemption. Not in this game, though. You can actually whoop, 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 whoop. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Come on, Nay Nay. That's so why I call the horses, because that's what the noise they make is Nay. Nay! So I call them nay nays. It's nothing to do with that lame song. Watch me, that. Yeah, yeah. Damn that song.
Nobu. But that's the only comparison I'm going to do between Red Dead Redemption and this game because they are two different games. So, again, I don't want you guys to think that, you know, I'm comparing apples to oranges because that's definitely what that comparison is. I'm just talking about the horse. Uh, horse play. <laughs> I just saw a fox. Why are you going to tell me that? You're going to tell me that like way after I done pass it, man. I want to go back and look for it. Oh well. Leather. So far, um, you know I'm living, trying to do my thing, but I keep getting harassed by bears. Dude, that bear like just jacked me up. Like I don't even think Leo DiCaprio in Revenant got did like that. You know what I'm saying? Like he actually survived. <laughs> Not us. Kyoto Twilight Headband. I like the other one. Fierce Warriors Headband. Real Court. Brilliant as the sunlight that drives away. That one's cool too. I do like yellow. Alright, let me buy this one. Zam. That's pretty neat. Okay, I might have to get that one next. Da 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 da. Let's go. Okay. That's cool. Oh wow! Okay. 
That is pretty dope. If I'm liking that a lot. So nice. Snow Demon's eyes. Okay. Um, I don't really care for the, like the gold or brass color on these, but I, mean, I do like the little decorations on this one compared to this one like I would like I prefer this like silver chrome look um, on the snow demon's eyes um, just with all the little decorations there oh this is pretty dope too see the dragon's wing I like that this is just neat I like that a lot <laughs> it's like a that looks like a baseball bat or a cricket bat. I don't know what they call them. Paddles. I don't know. You can now track new locations with the game. Man. What do I got here? My Yoshi Spring. Yes. Trying to go. What is this? That's okay. I'm not trying to go there. I want to explore all of this. Broken blacksmith could take me way down there, huh? Alright. So I had a fire. Do that one next. What's this? Old trading pulse post. I'm supposed to go take that back, huh? Alright, I'm gonna do that. See? There's the fox then. Uh, let's go do that first. Just come right next to it. right here huh so I'm just supposed to jump off of here huh wind all right we'll go like this how about that oh okay so there's a way to climb down okay and then I'll call the nene when I get on the ground like solid ground like solid solid ground no longer on cliffs Nay, 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 nay. Where you at? There you are. Let's go, Nobu. Hello. Hey I don't think I want to go that way. Cowboys and girls. Gust of wind. Alright, so I'm almost there. Here we go. So am I supposed to get off and approach this thing? Follow the fox. Follow the fox. Well, he seems to be leading me. He's not like running away from me. Because he stopped when I couldn't keep up. Don't touch the fox. He don't like it. Uh -oh. oh, so you're going to turn this into like Crash Bandicoot, huh? Thank you, Mr. Fox, or Mrs. Fox, whatever you are. She Fox, he Fox. Um. <laughs> uh, okay, I can do that, I guess. All right, all this uh, Fox talk got me thinking about baby metal. That's right, I said it, Baby Metal. You know, the first song that I was ever introduced to uh, 
you know, baby metal was that Give Me Chocolate song. And it was a dude who was like, I don't even like this song. And I was like, all right, well, let me check it out. And, you know, it was like, fuck you. I was like, what? It was ridiculous. But, I mean, I wasn't hating on it. <laughs> but, I mean, now it's, uh, yeah, I, I'm a fan. I can honestly tell you that I'm a fan of baby metal. I like uh, that Starlight song that just recently came out. Uh, I say recently, but it's like a couple of years old or a year old or something. Uh, I like that karate song. That song. I uh, dig that track. Uh, really, I don't have anything bad to say about Baby Metal. Uh, if, like, I know there's a lot of haters out there because like, that's not metal. That's true. Also, there are people out there who like that. Um, are trying to say that that weird albino chick Poppy is like the new face of metal or pop metal or whatever. I'm like, like the queen of pop metal. I'm like, they, nope, nope. Be one, she sucks as a vocalist. Two, that band sucks as a band. All right, they ain't got nothing on baby metal. Okay, straight up. Like, if there's gonna be any, you know, queen or whatever of like pop metal it's definitely baby metal like poppy sucks period that's fact in, in opinion that's facts all right anywho uh, uh what was i talking about the game here we go giddy up giddy up giddy up the headless horseman that's what it reminds me of right there Jade Hills, yeah. Am I going the wrong way? No. You just gotta cut through over yon right here and go around. What is that? Hold up, let me go over here and see what this is. Yenwood. All right, let's get on up here. And then, why is this looking so familiar? I feel like I've been here before. So there's nothing under here, just it's probably where they're dookie and poo and pee pee. Like right through the floor. Hmm. Okay. Oh, this is neat. Wait, wait, this is like the spot where hold on. That's not what I meant to do, but no. That spot, I think, was over here. Yeah. Huh. I was thinking to myself, is this a spot where the you first started the game? But I don't think it is. I'm tripping, cuz. So I wonder then if... Because there's like a big-ass crack. Like right here, I wonder if I could be like, yeah, like I could get like a hammer weapon or something. Do, 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 do. Hmm. I did like that uh, Jedi Fallen Order game. Uh, just the only thing I didn't like was the sliding. That's all. I think I mentioned that in one of the other games. Yeah, I don't know. I play too many games. And I talk about other games. 
Like, uh, I do enjoy old school beat em ups like Streets of Rage, um, Bad Dudes, Double Dragon. You know, some of the arcade classics. Love, love a lot of the, the classic games. Pac Man, Tetris, things like that. Survivor Camp. Oh yeah, that's right, I just was. So I'm trying to get here. Alright. Let's continue on with our journey. Nene, where you at? Alright, let's go. Whoa. Calm your tits there, buddy. No way to treat your horse trying to turn him into glue. That's messed up. Hold up. I don't think we would have made that. Well, I mean, it's telling us to go down that direction, so. Jump. No? Alright. Bear! Run! I'm not messing with no bears today. Or again. Today. <laughs> okay. I think I think I'm in the clear. I think. What he's got his own dojo over here. That's what's up. Dojo! Whoa. Whoa. Don't step on the rings. Step on this stuff right here. You won't even notice that you stepped on any of that gravel. And you won't get in trouble. You're gonna mess up his Ving rings. Can I play on a drum? No? Yeah, got my sword in my hand, got my sword in my hand. Woo! All right, look at that. Those are some nice arrows. Should pick those up. It was you. You were the one. You don't remember any of it because you lost consciousness. Yep. That's my story. Figured it out. Number one right here, detective. It was you, Jinset Kakara. Oh man, this is dope. Dude, I want to retire here. Like for real. Screw that. Now you retire. I'm just going to ditch my wife and kids. I'm just going to come here. All right, I'm just going to ditch my kids. And my wife can come with me. But I couldn't have kids and live on a cliff like this because their hyperactive asses would be like, yeah. And then I wouldn't have no kids. So, yeah. And no, I'm not putting up no damn rail. Because if I'm going to fall off, I'm going to freaking fall off. Life's a garden, dig it. Here we go. Some more blood. And some feet print. Whoa! What's going on there? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna take your ass out. Get away from me, bird. What you want? Cause he's not a samurai. He's a ronin. Or a raroni. Yeah. Wandering. Whatever. I don't even know what it means. I should just stop saying words that I don't know the meanings to. 
I know, that's a bath. Or a well. It's a well, yeah. Well? Well? Is it a well or a bath? Bamboo! This is the bath. That's a well. Or that's a well. That's a bath. Uh, whatever. Don't care anymore. It's neither. It's both. I wonder what the rocks are for. Actually, I wonder what the bamboo shoots are for, too. I'm going to have to Google it. Yeah! Alright, let's get back on the trail. So where was okay? So here's blood, footprints, blood, blood. Oh, okay, you can't open this. We ain't moving. Hey, how'd you know that? Yeah, it's me, little Dion. <laughs> Sure you were. Yeah. Oh man, eyeballs. Those dang Mongarians. That is a sick looking bow though. I do like that. Speaking of bows, I am so bummed that that last Ronin comic book got delayed. It got pushed back from September to uh, November. If you don't know what the last Ronin is, it's uh, the new Ninja Turtle comic where three of the Ninja Turtle brothers are dead and only one's alive and he's carrying all of the the weapons in the sorrow of uh, you know his brothers and you know that he lost them. Um, again, if you want to go spoil it for yourself and read into you know wh what's going on, go for it. Um, but I'm just gonna wait till the comic book comes out. I or pre-ordered the first and the second issue. Um, I ordered two copies. One to read, one to put away. So I might, after I'm done reading it, I might sell the one that I I, I read. Nah, probably not. I'll probably pass around that one like a cheap whore. Let everybody read it who wants to read it, you know. And the reason why, you know, Bo reminded me of that is because Donatello, my favorite Ninja Turtle, uh, carries a bow staff. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you ain't gonna get that archer? Yeah, here we go. Ha <laughs> ha Teamwork. <laughs> nah. -uh. What you talking about catching tigers for? We gonna go catch some tigers? Hey, you got that one sword that I want. Or a similar sword to it. Wait, 
Wait, you're keeping my pace? I was keeping your pace. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, you're right. There's ambushes over there. There's ambushes over there. Ooh. Nice. Well, pick it up, fool. Take it. Hmm. Sorry, I gotta test my audio sometimes because it'd be acting stupid. <clears throat> so, get some broth. Oh no, raping him too? That's not good. That is not good. Now I gotta go take on an entire like fortress. <sighs> All right, might as well. I'm gonna be the savior of the day. Whoa, they got ships way out there. That mountain looks dope, clouds. <sighs> okay, so that's what that crap was that I was looking at. You stop. Okay. That is a sick looking bow. Are you going to even borrow it? one. So hold this one to aim. All right. Let's see here if you can hit me. You got it? Oh. That's cool that they actually included that in the game though that you know, it actually Oh, okay. I see the knocks. Naksu cow. Am I trying to hit the candles in there? Like, you didn't really explain to me what I'm hitting. Okay, yeah. All right. The only thing you're gonna regret is talking to me like that, homeboy. something like closer? No. Where? That one? Hell no. Ooh, first one, homeboy. Go ahead. Go on his own. I didn't even do that. He let it go on his own. I'm sorry, Sensei. <laughs> That's true. They haven't won yet. I'm just trying to do like Predator. Maybe they won't see me if I'm covered in mud. Oh, again, we're doing this. Okay. All right, you do it. Uh, yes, always. I don't know what a hakama is, but yes, always. Ooh. 
Ooh. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I like that too. I like that too. Okay, what else we got? Okay. Man, you just saw me. Shoot, you know I ain't better. Okay. What are we waiting for? Okay. So, uh, arrow here. Dang a dang, dang 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 Headshot. You did what I was going to do. Where else? Oh my goodness, dude. There we go. All right. Yeah, I got him. I got him. Are you sure? All right, let's go get Tom away. Tom away. Beep, beep, beep. Tom away. Tom away. Tom away. Oh, hell, there's hornets. Oh, I'm trying to leave some bodies real quick. I want to see what they got stuff. Arrows. This guy! Whoa! Dang it. Oh, now you want to help out. Punk ass. Now I got to kill everybody all over again. Damn near die doing it. Oh, I guess not. Wait, yeah. Wait, guess not. Uh, I'm confused. Damn it. All right. I'm going to quit fucking around. I didn't know there was an archer in there. There was a sterling archer in there. Uh, let's see if I can hit this from way over here. Nope. Nope. There we go. There it is. Aw, oh, come on. I guess that wasn't anything, huh? 
Okay, here I thought I was. Hey, what do you think? What are you shooting at, bud? Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to go down there and find out, huh? You're doing a good job, whatever you're doing. Oh, all right. Good job. That's my dude. I kind of like the Mongo language. Language. It almost sounds Dutch. Right, you balls. He's wearing armor, dude. Oh, I got him more arrows. Yeah, killed that leader. Got that water stance. Whew. I don't know what the hell water stance is, but I killed your leader. Where they at, dude? Okay, there's two there. Oh, there's one up there, okay. Whoa! Whoa! Gotta run, bro. 100 miles of running. Up on the roof, up on the roof. Gonna get you up on the roof. We'll get them arrows real quick. Okay. Oh, fudge. Fudge sickles. All right. Whoo! Ooh, look at me over here, all Assassin's Creed. Did we do it? No way. Oh. I'm gonna end it suffering. Yeah. Well, now you can go with Jesus. That was pretty dope. Oh, found some linen. Let me go loot this place. And I went and freaking did exactly what I didn't want to do. Oh no. Oh no, Tomboy. Alright, I wanted to gonna search this for it anyways because I wanted to find some stuff. Hammer? Okay. Alright. Oh, I'm supposed to do. Jump in here and see what's going on. Yeah, supplies. So I wanted some supplies, maybe some linens and stuff. Ooh, what's this? 
Alright. Oh, no. Uh, to make babies, probably. A little bit of uh, interspecies erotica. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh man, I'm stupid sometimes, I swear. It's the dumb things like that, like, gonna keep me from getting into heaven. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Alright, so Tomoy. It's probably in here. Why was this in here, right? I saw that kimono. Yeah. Dude, just jump through the window, bro. Keep going in and out the doors. Hey girl, you in here? The Ninja Scroll. Another old anime. Oh, great. Traitor. Now we're going to have to fight her. And she's going to be like a master bowman woman. Master archer. Yeah, that's the right word. And then she's going to like kick our ass 800 times before finally I beat her. What? Boyer. Okay, so I need the bamboo and... Okay. Okay. View the upgrades. Fine. Oh, I have to find a, a guy to do it. Okay, I get it now. That's what they were talking about. Find a boy year. Okay. Damn, dude. And those are in deep, too. <laughs> so she did it willfully. Okay. Yes, I do. What? Is it? Well, it's because it's windy out. Duh. Why would she do that though, bro? That's kind of messed up. Oh, that's why. What hurts? Well, I ain't seen enough, damn it. Let me see here. Let me see. It's messed up. Aren't the Mongols a biker gang? So now they're gonna be like riding through on their hogs and then their bobbers or baggers or whatever it is that bikers cruise on. Oh. Okay. Cause she abroad? And broads do that? the truth you damn right we do it my way all right have your word we have his word that 
He's going to help. I like that name. Majawajawajawajiki. I couldn't say it, so I don't know Japanese. I don't know how to speak the language, so I'm not even going to pretend. Yeah, I am. You know I'm going to try it again because I'm, I'm stupid like that. Yeah. Done. Cool. Yeah. Your legend grows. Yeah, the wandering samurai. Cool. Okay. Oh. New ghost weapon unlocked. Kunai. Oh, sweet. That's a ninja weapon, though, ain't it? Okay. Alright. I'm just saying, like, I didn't think you samurai were supposed to be using them things. say anything this one's called robot infliction stone puncture batter your foe with two piercing strikes okay so what happens if they dodge both then I just get pummeled right it just leaves me oh I don't know man strength of mountains Feed two more Mongol leaders to unlock. So the water stance. Okay. So I don't have it yet. Okay. Let's see. Strength of mountain. Increase stagger damage against swordsmen from all stance. Stone stance attacks. Stone full puncture. Hold and tap. That's cool. Probably gonna need that. Uh, momentum, perform stone stance, heavy attacks with ferocious speed. Okay, mm then I'm gonna have to do that. That's for sure. Quick fire. Okay, ranged. I'm liking this game so far. I mean, there's quite a bit to do. Okay. I'm gonna have to do that. So, does that mean that I'm gonna have to go around and find these kunai now? Oh! <gasps> Samurai clan armor, awesome! Ronin attire. Okay. Gonna have to do these soon. Okay. Two silk, minor range charm, minor stealth charm. Okay. All right, I'll get around to doing all these. All right, but that's going to do it for the Sizzle Chest in today. Like, subscribe. Most of all, like the best thing you can do is comment. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know what else you guys want to see. I know that I don't have too many colorful games up, but I do play fighting games too, and those are very pretty, colorful, lots of flashes and everything. Call of Duty will be played. Don't worry, folks, okay? Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Hope you guys have a fantastic week. Peace.